Good day, fellow cinemas and geek gamers of the internet. You're watching Dino Reviews. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep. I made that like intro up a long time ago. Like, oh, this time I'm gonna introduce myself. I'm gonna do all the, all the nine yards. I'm gonna have an intro. I'm gonna have a, you know, a regular form of dress. I'm gonna have a little location in my room. I'm gonna have the, all of it like a, like a proper reviewer, YouTuber person. So, uh, now. Few years later, I'm still procrastinating on a thing I put a review of for a long time, and uh, in the videos are kind of unpredictable. But I promise that you know I would uh, I would would like create more reviews. Like every single time I see a movie, I'll just put a review up for it. This channel is called Dino Reviews after all. So uh, I'd maybe. I don't think that Dorks and Batman v Superman can't a review because that was ramblings, but I realised, you know, what I, I'm uncomfortable with, with, you know, the thought of like, I see a movie, I go to the cinema quite often, a bit too often, on my own. <laughs> Anywho, um, I, I like, kind of like the fact that after I see a movie, I come back, before I get so tired and lazy and just want to get in my pyjamas and be a lazy ass. I thought, I'll I'll just put this up, ramble about for about 10 minutes ago about the movie I've seen, and that, I'll just say, that cast is my review. First impressions, unscripted, top of my head, thoughts, review is, ba a review is basically a thought and opinion, so here it is. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. So, uh, yeah, this is my first review, and it is for The Jungle Book. Now, I'm gonna give a sorry. I'm not just jumping straight into it, but oh, come on, Luke. I don't have all day, but um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna call it like Dino, Dino, uh, like Dino's ramble, Dino's ramble review or Dino rambling something. Some I'm gonna put ramble or waffle somewhere in the title so people know this is not. I would want to like create a whole you know shindig of like. Ed fully edited. I'm gonna like do maybe put some sketches in there. I'm gonna have a pit poster right next to me. I'm gonna have like graphics. But seeing how I don't really have a proper editing software besides when the movie maker, which it could go stuff itself because it's so crap and uh, prehistoric. Now I'm just gonna sit and ramble for for a couple minutes with a webcam and just put that up. And the only ed and the only fully ed and the only editing thing I'll do is adding the fade in and the fade out to black and having a poster of the movie next to me in the thumbnail, probably doing this, which indicates that I liked it. So, uh, three minutes in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have mercy. <laughs> uh, by the way, I I, I won the Sutropolis shirt, uh, which is the Disney movie, and I saw a Disney movie, so I thought it was fitting. Yes, I'm stripping already. Oh man, those those forearms. Yeah, that's the forearm, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Just throwing everything at you. Everything I have in my mind throwing at you. Maybe in like maybe about twenty minutes from now I'll actually tell you what I thought of the movie. <laughs> Sorry. Uh oh by the way, maybe I put in a little little life vlog. No one cares, but you know, I can do what I barely want, yeah. It's just, I, I'm kind of done with apologising how like long and rambling these videos are. Someone once told me, uh, I once watched, I watched, he was a friend, so obviously that's that he's doing, I think he's doing it out of pity. Um, so, one of 12 views, he said, yeah, that, that 50 minute top 10 worst list, which I could have just made a top 6 list to. Ah, uh, not editing that out. Can't be bothered. Um, I bet my mum's gonna come in anyway and just ruin it. <laughs> um, so he said, I, I watched your 50 minute video, uh, there you go. <laughs> she did come in. Um, but yeah, he said, I, I watched your 50 minute review of the top 10 worst list, which I think I just said I could've just made a top top 8 list to avoid adding in movies for the sake of it to make it a top 10 list to have a bit of coherency. And he said he was watching it while I was eating his tea. So there you go. <laughs> make that the tagline. Uh, you can watch it while eating your tea. You don't even need to look at me. It's like a podcast. Just hear me talk. <laughs> well, I don't know why anyone want to do that, but there you go. The only well, the few qualities I have, I don't that much. And still, next to Stephen Fry, I could be I'm bloody uh, Vicky Pollard. There you go. <laughs> uh, I sound idiotic compared to Stephen Fry. That's what I'm trying to say because he's so articulate. But anywho, <laughs> uh, 
the little life log thing, I recently went to a con, which I think I mentioned. Uh, but still, I'm not. I don't have like te a million subscribers to go. If you're going to the con, hit me up. We'll talk now. <laughs> uh, I went to a place called Optimus Con. I was thinking of making a, a, a video of just me talking about it. You know what I thought of it. Putting some pictures of me meeting, like for example, me meeting Troy Baker, the voice of of like voice of the Joker from uh, this game. Copyright, copyright, just by the imagery. Um, but still, I thought, well, that was like last week. I don't really think, I don't really think it'll be beneficial or anything. Or just me like making the um, the pe con feel better than that myself by like me tweeting it and you know, and everyone else and people watching me like, good for you, Luke. You went to a con. I didn't do anything. Hmm, hmm, making me feel bad. But it was good. Okay, so uh, the Jungle Book. I was looking forward to this movie very much. To some, it may look like, oh, they're remaking Jungle Book, because I know what Disney are doing, they're remaking all their classic tales they we've made, like Cinderella by now, which is basically, I thought was pretty good actually, which is basically Cinderella, just in live action form really, but then there's Maleficent, which wasn't just a live action form of Stephen Beauty, it was like, uh, like the point of villain, but that, I thought that movie, uh, soft balls, um, I just thought, I, okay, I wasn't trying to make an innuendo there, um, I just thought that was awful. I would tell you why. It just, it, I felt, I, I felt, I saw that movie like maybe once, and it was, felt like a long time ago. So I can't really say why. Um, I thought I didn't think that was very good. And then a bunch of other live action remakes. But this one, the only one was it by the director of Iron Man, which is really weird. He goes from Robert Downey Jr. in an Iron Man suit to CGI bear voice by Bill Murray. But you know, that that you like. Your career has to have have to have variety, but um, I'm looking forward to this movie very much. I haven't seen the original Jungle Book in years, a very long time. I remember it, uh, I remember bits and pieces. Um, I recently watched like an honest trailer. If you ever heard of that, you know I tried uh, not rip them off, but satirize very badly. Got 75 dislikes. <laughs> I just found that hilarious. Uh, I'll never delete it, so I can look back and go like, wow, I was awful. Probably still am, um, but still, I apparently said it was boring. Like, yeah, I, uh, maybe I might rewatch it, but it compared, I might, I might be bored because you know, like, uh, I don't know. It's probably, it's probably still good. Anywho, not that jungle, but this jungle. But looking forward to it. I thought, I thought Bill Murray was a perfect choice. Christopher Walken as King Leo. Like, ah, ah, like that could work. It's just the fact. That you know, it was live action. It was gonna, I knew it was going to be really visually pleasing, and also like, it, like, it, like, like they look like they are not like blue, blue. I call them blue, like like Foster's home, but no Balu. And it's like in the cartoon, he was like big and grey. Like here, he's, he's an actual bear, and it's Bill, a Bill most soothing, lovely, you know, just charming voice coming out of this big bear. Um, <laughs> but um. I was looking forward to it. I thought, man, this is gonna be, yeah, it might just be live action Jungle Book, but it's gonna probably be one of the be most beautiful films I've seen all year. And then, you know, it's the Jungle Book. Who doesn't love the Jungle Book? It's gonna be entertaining anyway. And guess what? It was. I loved it. I didn't like. I didn't think it was just good. I thought it was like actually quite excellent. I would watch it again. I'd probably, <laughs> hey, Luke, wanna go see the Jungle Book again? But I literally just saw it 30 minutes ago. Well, you wanna? Yeah, of course I do. I wanna see it right now. I wanna see, I wanna see it ten more times. Okay, probably not ten more times. <laughs> I mean, I, it, I liked it. It was really good. I mean, I haven't made notes or anything, so I'm just gonna go on off of, off my head why I liked it. Okay. Uh, first off, the uh, f visual effects, amazing. It's a Disney, the, like probably the most richest company in the world. I don't know. I'm not gonna look it up. <laughs> but I'm just going to assume. I'm going to assume the moon might be made of cheese. Well, some Gromit said so, so I just assume. Um, oh, by the way, that con I went to, uh, I got that Hagrid from it. Hagrid, favourite character. I also got that little BFG poster. Another movie I'm... Why, 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 I'm so many movies I'm looking forward to this year are just, like, you know, furthering something. Like, I'm looking forward to Civil War. Another installment in the Marvel franchise. I, I really look forward to The Jungle Book. Basically a live action version of Jungle Book. Really looking forward to the BFG. Basically a live action version of the BFG. Now I'm looking forward to because I I, I read the book. I actually remember reading the book. <laughs> One of the few. I'm not a big book reader. And and the cartoon I actually grew up from quite a bit. And now this, like the guy from uh, Bridge of Spies who's 
we won an Oscar for just mainly saying, sh uh, like, would it help quite a lot? And that's about it. Sylvester Stallone should have won. But besides that, I think the awards were still quite deserving. What well, apparently Robin Williams was uh, going to play the BFG, which is just really, really sad. I'm going off topic. Um, but still, uh, Jungle Book. The, the effects, like, a lot of the times I thought, I know people say this, like, wow, at some moments I thought that was real, but it really did. I mean, yes, when the animals were moving, like, and, like, some specific animals, like, I don't know, maybe the mice. I thought, yeah, yeah, that, that CGI was still, like, still really, really good CGI. But, like, it was with Bagheera. Bagheera. Yeah, the panther, voiced by Ken, Ben Kingsley, who, again, perfect. He, like, probably, like, 80% of the time, like, it was mostly when he was standing still and, like, just moving slowly. But I thought that was a real legitimate panther. Like, man, how did they control that panther so much and not kill that kid when he's standing next to him? But still, like, oh, and, like, it's when, like facial animations, like... Fur is really hard to put, really hard to pull off to make it look like a like a, on an animal to make it look actually real, like uh, because this isn't the first time like Disney done live action animals. Like, right? remember G Force? I remember G Force. <laughs> One of few people that remember G Force. They had a they had a Black Eyed Peas song in it. <laughs> um, oh man, that <laughs> uh, Zach Gunn of the Knackers would spy guinea pigs. Ah, oh, the good old days, classic. Should be in the Disney vault, um, but um, but yeah, the, I can't. I, obviously, every single review is going to go off. The effects were amazing, blah blah blah. So I'm just going to retreading it. Um, this is probably one of one of few reviews. Like I think it was like Pat, even with Batman v Superman, it literally just come out today. So I saw it, and obviously it was packed. I just wanted to see it as soon as possible, and there's already a bunch of reviews out already. But uh. And also, it was, yeah, pretty full, like, but still, there was a dab behind I, mean, I can't blame him, like, his kid, um, I, kept, I heard a kid kept saying, like, what's that? What's that? You must have been six. I don't know, I don't know how, like, a kid must have got confused, because the film's imagery isn't that complicated. Like, it lit like, she literally just saw a bird, like a flying squirrel, flying to another tree, and she was like, what's that? And the dad was like, that's a flying squirrel. And obviously, he wanted to enjoy it, like... I can't just tell her to be quiet, so it's a flying squirrel, dear. And I bet, I wonder if, like, a parent's going to be like, stop talking, like, I know, and, like, the kid just gets off scot free, even though the kid is asking questions and talking. <laughs> anyway, that's some, that was kind of relevant. Um, But, yeah, obviously, effects, amazing. It's weird, like, it's weird thinking that, I'm sure, like, 20 years from now, it would look like... You know, we you like actors who pass away. You could actually bring back and just have them like act. I'm sure like that might be possible. Like I know with like Paul Walker, like they like, scanned his face and had him in it. Um, but but it it yeah it uh, it. I first I was like, how come they didn't film it? Because it wasn't real jungle. Like they filmed it like probably in front of a green screen. Uh, it wasn't a real jungle. I was thinking, how come they didn't film in the real jungle? But I was thinking. Yeah, that might look weird, like, the big CGI animals that may look, that look incredibly real at the time, realistic, but sometimes, like, you know, it's kind of noticeable in an actual forest where I'm sure there would be a lot of technical difficulties and it may look that, not that convincing. And pretty much the whole live, the one live action thing through maybe, I don't know, 95% film is a hu is the kid. Um, I, I, I think it was the best path they took, but still, luckily, this is a really good effects company. And this is, and... Here it kind of you know needs to be a lot of CGI because I know I don't think they can really control a bear and just put peanut butter on the top of his lips and have him move like I bet the actor would fear for his life because he's trying to add for not tick the bear off to eat him uh, which I think there was a jungle book movie with like actual actual animals oh man that that must have been as good animal training as in Garfield too remember Garfield too there was two CGI cats and like a bunch of Animal shenanigans and the guy from Monty Python with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, f the French soldier. I spit at you. If you've never seen ha ha Holy Grail, then you'll be confused. See it, hilarious. Um, I just went from Jungle Book to Monty Python. But the this film needed CGI, you know, for actual reasons. When the prequels, you know, like pretty much everything was CGI. It was like most non-artificial films I've ever seen. Like, heck, one of the few art, uh, artificial things in there was a Yoda, Yoga, not Yoda, Yoga puppet, like like in the original trilogy. They made him CGI as well because, like, why not make him CGI as well? Uh, anywho, I, I killed them. The women, the children, 
and then he starts talking about sand. <laughs> I want, don't see the prequels. See, see Holy Grail, don't see the prequels. <laughs> That's my message for the day. See Holy Grail, not the prequels. Um, but, um, yeah. Okay, over the fence. You know it's amazing. It looks awesome. Uh, like, but the, it, it, the, now the acting, it's really hard to talk about the acting because it's pretty much all voice acting except this one kid. And this kid must have the toughest job. I believe, he looks like 11 years old. I believe it's his first movie. His first movie is with Disney and he's working pretty much with Bill Murray, Scarlett Johansson, Ben Kingsley, some of the biggest actors and actresses on earth. And he, um... All, all the time, for much all the time, he's not talking to a real person. He's looking at nothing, and they just put in that CGI bear later, and pulled it, and he pulled it off. He really did. He was really good. Like, like I'm not going to lie. Hmm, he could have done better. He could have, he could have emoted more. And I'll be like, uh, I don't want to be an asshole. He's only like 11 years old. It's his first movie, and he's acting with a CGI bear voiced by the Bill Murray. So I can't blame the kid. Um, <laughs> but um. But, but still, man, I'm. I, I was hoping this would be ten minutes. This is not going to be ten minutes, is it? <sighs> um, but still, like, yeah, the kid was really good, and obviously, I think the cast cast was pretty much pitch perfect. Like, um, I don't know. I think the one I would like, hmm, that's odd, but it'll probably be like Scarlett Johansson. But that's probably because I just, I remember the snake sat being Winnie the Pooh. It was the voice actor of Winnie the Pooh, basically Winnie the Pooh, which is the left. <laughs> You're being charmed and eaten by the voice of a poo, like it's like it's a lovely voice while you're being eaten by a giant snake. But like, but still, when Scarlett Johansson started talking, like, 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 trust in me, and like, wow, actually, really suits. I mean, that snake uh, is kind of like you wouldn't really know what gender it is, but it fits. Like, I think the whole cast was pretty much perfect. Like, as I was looking at the cast, like, all perfect. This fits perfectly. Like, I mean, like, they're not meant to sound exactly like the voices in in the cartoon. Because this is a diff. I mean, it's the same story pretty much, to an extent. Um, the okay, I, I'll just pretty much say, the ending to the film, like like the like what happens to Mowgli, bit different to what happens here. It's not nothing bad happens to one of them. It's just like you know different different paths. And I'll pretty much say you know the bit when there's a little girl goes in the forest. She's not in it. That's not what you. I don't think that's a spoiler. I mean that's a. Nah, I, I'm, I, I'm not really spoiling anything. What is that to spoil? That's a book, a cartoon, like a bunch of live action interpretations, and it's pretty much 98% the same. So, it, it's not Batman v Superman, where, like, you don't know what's gonna happen. It's a jungle book. <laughs> That's like saying, like, okay, you know that, uh, this live action Cinderella story? Uh, got, there's a, there's a fairy godmother, and they've got, spoilers, I didn't know there would be a fairy godmother in Cinderella. That's ridiculous. <laughs> By the way, uh, oh look, look, Billy, there's a Black Panther, not the Marvel Black Panther, but there's a Black Panther in the Jungle Book, and your, your cat, you look, he's like a little panther, so see, there's some relevant imagery for you, can't be, can't be bothered, <laughs> um, that was like a magic trick, like, what's behind Luke, it's a cat, I keep, can't help myself, can I, um, Still, at least you could say this is a variety type of review, <laughs> but not in editing guys, just me going different tangents. But um, Bill Murray, perfect because Baloo, he's like he he he's like uh, the irresponsible dad. Like, nah, don't worry about anything. Just hang out with me. Just take the sit on the sofa with me and watch sports with like a beer all day. Like, but dad, I'm only fourteen. Do, come on, son, have a have a beer. And then, then the mother comes in like. You should be doing your homework. This isn't right. You stop doing it. And um, that basically Bulgaria. And then the the and then Blue was the irresponsible dad. But still, it, but I love Blue the most because obviously he was like so lazy. He basically was like Winnie the Pooh, but he's basically Homer Simpson, <laughs> but as a bear, um, wanting food and stuff. But Bill Murray, he was so perfect, like because I grew up on him Ghostbusters and stuff like that. Um, and obviously the immaculate bit in Little Shop of Horrors, one of my favorite movies. Um, he, he did so good. I think everyone matched their characters perfectly. I would never part like, yeah, that, that, that doesn't really sound like that, like what that character was sound like. No, Baloo was amazing, Bulgir was, especially Ben Kingsley, that like very wise voice. It fits them. Like, Bill Murray's voice sounds very lazy and nonchalant. That fits Baloo's character. Like, and like, and also like, 
it just help us sounding really menacing and threatening v beating Shere Khan who's like my god like I, I know this is a Disney film not meant to like get that much emotion in me just for a live action jungle book, but I really hated Shere Khan like, I really despised him like what he does and how he acts and because I really like Mowgli, he, he's a cool kid, <laughs> he's a cool guy, you know, I know him down the street, and, but on Shere Khan, like, what he does, and why he wants to kill him, like, I'm like, go oh, F off, man, like, stop, stop being a jerk, like, oh, sorry, guys, uh, yeah, yeah, go away, Shere Khan, <laughs> like, I really hated him, I really wanted him to die, which sounds wrong, but, you know, he's a, he's a CGI tiger, um, and he, it, it, like, the voice matched him perfectly, like, I heard some parents going, like, oh, did he just do that? Like, see, that's it's striking up a motion. Like, like, I was like, oh, you get him, Mowgli, you kick his ass. <laughs> oh, sorry, I swore. And um, sorry, kids, you wanted to know if the Jungle Book was good. <laughs> Why are you watching me? <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah. Oh, man. It's weird, it's weird. Like, like, the main, the main highlights is all, it's all good. Is the CGI, the special effects is amazing. And the cast is perfect. You love the characters, you love uh, Shere Khan, he's the villain, you're not, not meant to like him, and also the snake, who's a bit, you know, not not very nice at all, trying to hypnotise him and eat him. Um, but still, like, all the characters you love, like, even these characters, like, centuries old, or whenever the book was published, and, like, the cartoon is really old. The characters, as I remember, are still the same, and they're really likeable and lovable, again, except Shere Khan. Um, still, like, and also, I should probably say... You're probably not just gonna base seeing this movie off my review. Not in a million years, eleven people watching. Um, uh, but, but still, like that, the the movie. When you think of the movie in musical wise, you think of Bare Necessities and like I want to be like you. Both of those songs are in it, and yeah, I can't. Yeah, I haven't even seen the movie in years. I bet some people who've seen the movie quite recently could barely remember any other songs because that's the song you think of. Um, and yeah. I should probably say, it's not musical, it definitely isn't, except, like, with Bare Necessities, they kind of speak that with the music, and, like, you know, they're not properly singing it, they're just, you know, saying, saying it, like, Bare Necessities, yeah, um, but with, like, I want to be like you, Christopher Walken, he straight up sings it, and I never knew Christopher Walken, he's a pretty okay singer, I mean, but still, when he, when he sings it, there's a really a spoiler, because, you know, I know, you can't expect it, um, you know, you expect it to be in the movie or not? And um, he, he says like, "I want to be like you." Ooh, ooh. Yeah, he kind of sings a bit weird, but that's how he talks. It's Christopher Walken. He's probably an alien in disguise. Like, I want to be like you, Mowgli. I, I want to be like you. Yeah, I can't do that impression to save my life. <laughs> but you know, everyone thinks they can do it. They can. <laughs> um, and my sister pointing out to me, uh, probably can't hear me. Um, I, I saw the movie with her because I know. I wasn't really forced to. <laughs> I, I'm like, oh, I don't want to take it with me. I'm not gonna go like. I told my sister I'm a, a very, very good brother. Nah, I, we saw it, and she said that's a cowbell. And this isn't really spoiler, but when like Mowgli goes into it, it goes into the King Louis cave. He picks up a cowbell. And he's like, like Saturday Night Live. Surprised she remembered that reference, but that's because I have to put for Walking Saturday Night Live DVD. And you know, I gotta give me more cowbell. I better put that in purposely. I bet I put it in purposely, and only few old people will get it. But I got it. <laughs> but still, it, it I, next to the Panther and the orangutan, pretty much a lot of other things in the movie. The orangutan looks incredibly realistic. I don't really think there's orangutans that's like bloody fifty feet tall. <laughs> and like here, here's Mowgli, and then there's like here's the orangutan. But like he was super massive, and he looked so realistic. And um, and one of my favorite scenes in the movie you saw in the trailer is when he actually chases him through it. And and it's a jungle book, like it's, it's, it's like you know, a bunch of talking animals. It's like you, it is, it is a fun movie. Like kids can see it, but there are some like, like I don't know, maybe one or two jump scares. Shere Khan being scary, and this massive orangutan chasing Mowgli through this giant temple, and like he's coming from the ground trying to grab him with his massive hands. And like I'm sure this will be intense for some kids, but that's probably my favorite part of the movie. Like not only does it look so amazing, the effects. But the fact that like it's like the Hulk chasing Black Widow through through uh like the, the helicopter helicarrier and the Avengers like it's massive around down, like trying to run away. I uh, so good, so good, man. <laughs> I, I sound like like uh, like oh man that joke was so good. I loved it, man. I loved it so much. The animals, it was so great. I don't even know one person now. Um, hair on fleek. <laughs> Hate myself for doing that. 
liked I like I like to say uh, trendy things ironically like YOLO eh still then I just I just feel sorry for myself. <laughs> okay. I should have I should write notes for this. I mean like uh okay. Cover the effects. <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> I cover the effects. Amazing. All like so realistic. Great, it looks like it's, it's great. <laughs> I, I, you know, probably the best effects you have from like this cut, like what you expect. The cast, brilliantly, pitch perfect. Um, like, like it makes you like see these characters differently. Like, I bet, like growing up on the original jungle, this is what the voices you think of. These are different voices. They sound a bit different, but like the same characters. Yeah, the characters are great. I love all the characters. Blue is obviously my favorite because you know I want to hang out with him. Like, Blue, wanna wanna grab a drink, man? Like, sure. <laughs> Bare necessities or Akuna Matata or whatever, or no worries. <laughs> By the way, that's like a stampy you see in this movie. You think Flying King. <laughs> I thought Flying King. I thought Flying King quite a bit. <laughs> uh, I expected my uh, Shio Khan to go like, this is Pride Rock. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, and, and, oh, and Mowgli, he grubs up the Tarzan. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Yeah, but kid goes up the jungle. By the way, I also really want to quickly point out. I also, it's weird, I love the narrative of this movie, I know the story, a lot of people know about the front, it's a cl classic story because the cartoon everyone grew up on it, but it reminds me how much I really like the narrative or journey of it, because it, the whole movie is basically trying to get from, uh, trying to trying to get Mowgli from point A to point B, get him safe, but I also really love how like, it got twists and turns, like, like you don't just stumble into these characters, like, he could like get lost, and then the snake will come out of nowhere, or like he's just like chilling with like Baloo, and then suddenly he gets taken away and see sees King Louis. So it's not like like these characters like like he just stumbles into them, um, like like you know they come out of nowhere to say hi, I'm like King Louis, um, no like like he, it's literally a journey, like twists and turns. He gets taken away, and then he meets King Louis. Like I li I like how that works. Like um, I don't mean that. I don't. Do you know what I mean? Like. It's not like very straightforward, like I don't know, on this journey, he just like, I don't know, like, oh, uh, like, oh, look, oh, look, a snake is in our way and like he's trying to hypnotize us. No, like, like he, li he literally gets lost and he just, like, he, and then, like, there, 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 how you meet the snake, there it is. I don't want to spoil the scenes, but, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just really, really like, I really like how. Like the characters, the new characters, not the main characters, like you no, know, one since the beginning, like uh, there since the beginning, like the Panther, but like how he stump, how he like you know just meets Baloo because you know because what what he does for Mowgli and how he how he meets the Snake because you know he's trying to find the Panther and how he how he meets um the 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 the, the orangutan because you know he's taken away. And I don't know really what I can spoil. It's very well well known, but yeah, you know what I mean. I just like how he meets some of these characters. Like they actually just come out of nowhere, and then they're there, <laughs> and then there's a little scene for them. <laughs> I like that. It's better than Batman v Superman, where it's basically just a, like a mess of unrelated scenes until it has a you know, a con like they all meet up at the end, very poorly. You can like that movie all you want. <laughs> uh, I, by the way, I've all, it's, I still wonder. Does the, yeah? Obviously, all these animals don't speak English, and like Mowgli don't know English because he was a, he grew up here. So, do like did he just like, this, this like Bugir and the wolves teach teach him all the languages of the animals like the wolf and the panthers because sometimes because the elephants don't speak to him and the monkeys don't speak to him but like the orangutan does. Uh, or does just hit in this world all animals speak one language and the elephants just don't want, don't want to talk to them? I'm looking too deep into this. I don't want, don't want to spoil the the the, 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 the biggest spoiler in the movie. By the way, the, the, there's animals in the movie in case you didn't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, and I, I I should probably also say, uh, this movie sometimes have certain cliches like lie or reveal the story. Uh. So the begin why was that the beginning movie now the opposite to the end movie like oh look the character can do this and now the end movie oh he could do this um things like heck though I spotted some of that in Zootropolis and I still loved it um, I'm 
No, who's Zootropolis? Look, it's a Jungle Book Zootropolis combo. Um, I, I saw that movie earlier. I could have, I could have got the upper hand, even though it came out in America a while ago. <laughs> it's a big competition, but um, but yeah, some some cliches are in here, but you know, it Disney and it's a Disney film. It's still amazing either way. I'm not gonna go. Oh, it's crap because I saw. Uh, it's like, oh man, look, there's some cliches I saw in some other movies. It's still amazing. Plus, because it's, not, it's about talking animals and stuff, but it's still really good. It got some really good dialogue because obviously I don't think they ripped it straight out of the book. And and I'm probably gonna watch the original Jungle Book again, and I'll probably be like, oh, that wasn't in it. That character wasn't actually in it because I think there was like these birds that's like, oh, what we're we gonna do today? Twenty three minutes. Okay, wraps it up. I'm not really. I don't really make up a score, but if you want it, um, I don't know. Uh, eight out of ten. Eight point five. Don't want really to go decimals. Sure, it's not perfect. Not a lot of movies are perfect. Not like 10 out of 10. Like, Jungle Book revolutionized. But still, I was looking forward to it. I was not disappointed. It was entertaining. It was lovely. I want to see it again. The characters were amazing. Effects are just like mind blowing. Like, they were beautiful. I could look at them. I could look at them all day, man. Oh, that panther. Oh, he's so realistic. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, I'm not coming on to the panther. Um, um, just digging a, digging a grave. Um, right now. Um. Amazing, I loved it. I, I want to see it again because you know it's a classic story. I, I think there's now going to be Peach Dragon, which I don't really really grow up on, and I expect a lot more of these live action remakes. Still, which I don't mind. They're, they're classic stories, and it's made by Disney. And like, you can either watch the cartoon and uh, the live action remake. They'd both be good. Like, like how Sleeping Beauty is really good. Maleficent's crap. The original Jungle Book, I remember being. Good and I think this is excellent. I love it. <laughs> I don't know why. I just I'm very fond of it. <laughs> um, a lot of people are too, which I'm glad. Uh, um, got 100 percent like Civil War, which um, <laughs> I want to see that. So I want to see it right now. Um, but anywho, before my voice completely goes dry and I just want to get in my pajamas so bad. Uh, so yeah, Jungle Book, loved it. See it. No, no surprise. Become a big kid at heart, and you know. I don't know. It's nice. It's a really nice film. It's good. Probably going to be some points I want to think of later, but you know, you got the point. I I thought it was excellent, fantastic. I'm repeating myself, but uh, which I tend to do. But yeah, I, I like I like doing this. You know, see a movie, get in before I change the clothes because pajamas on like the state of being. Uh, quickly just do this. It's not it's not like fully edited variety. Just me ramble for however long I do. Pull it up. And there you go. You go watch that. It's not gonna. I'm probably not gonna drive you to see the movie. But in case you're curious, here's my my thoughts. Not not fully noted or scripted. Just first impressions. And it's my thoughts and an opinion and a viewers an opinion. So, Dino reviews. Dino's thought. Dino whatever. Opinion review here. Take it. Ah. <laughs> Still, don't get me wrong. I I, I not. I, I don't want all my videos to just be sitting in front of a webcam for about 30 minutes and ramble because I know that's really boring unless you know it's about something you're somewhat interested in so if like that April Fool's video I like when I'm able to you know if my, I like to do you know variety random style I'm taking my shoes off with my sense of humor my sense of humor whatever you call it but I, I like I, I like to do that Again, hobby, you know. I only do this, you know, when I can because I like to entertain. I want to be an actor one day. That involves entertaining, so I like to entertain. <laughs> um, so, yeah, don't worry. Not, if you're somewhat interested, there's not all of this. Will you, I've said my thoughts on the movie, so you've probably gone by now. In, um, don't worry, not all of it's going to be just me rambling. I like to do a variety type of things. But, yeah, good. By the way, I love the friendship between Baloo and Mowgli that 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 was like <laughs> I believed in that. I just wanted them I, I just I could watch a movie of them just chilling because they were so, such good friends. There's a bear and a kid. What's going on these days? Huh? Like Brother Bear. <laughs> if anyone remembers that. <laughs> uh I, I have an outro. Um Uh I don't, I don't want to kill it. Uh <laughs> perfect take. Um the 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 uh oh, oh.
Yes, yes, it's the script. I, I was gonna do this during half term. You have to get him close. You know, I'm do I'm do I'm doing something, guys. I mean, like it hasn't been. It's like not like I just uploaded like t like two months later. I, by the way, I'm very proud of that April Fool's video because it's not just me rambling for once. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, shout out to Ariel. <laughs> he 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 saw me that video and he said, "Hey, look at my channel. He's very nice." He, you know, well, I, I actually haven't talked to him. Uh, okay. Uh, da 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 It's falling apart. Uh, this is Dino, and I'm just another screen watcher like you. Is that what I say? Um, okay. Well, this is Dino, uh, otherwise known as Luke, but you you can call me Dino. We could be on that basis. Uh, and you're a screen watcher because I believe my my idea was you're watching the screen. You're watching the screen, so you're a screen watcher. This is Dino. And what was I thinking? <laughs> it sounds dumb. That yeah, that's put that on a teacher. This is Dino, and I'm just another screen watcher like you. Oh man, so relatable. We watch, we're watching screens. See, see, Jungle Book. Seriously, like, like, don't, don't judge it. It's really awesome, and it's, it's nice. It, I, I just love the design, all of it. I love how it looks. Pro I'm probably gonna see it next time I see it. I'm probably gonna, no, I'm, gonna I'm gonna see it when I get, if I want it. I want to see. It. I, I don't want to repeat myself. I just don't want to leave you. I, 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 bye. It's probably gonna be one of my favorite films of this year, so maybe I don't know. What, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'll I'll just say now. Probably gonna be on there. I liked it that much. But don't tell anybody. Mainly because no one would care. Hmm.